we are going to do a versus video between the Milwaukee Fuel 3 8 impact uh, driver versus the Ryobi 3 8 impact driver. Now, this one is brushless. It is a 9 amp hour battery. Uh, I do not have a 9 amp hour battery anymore. I gave it to my friend. And so I, uh, I only have a 6 amp hour battery for this one, and this uh, one is brushed. The Ryobi is 0 uh, to 3,400 impacts per minute, and the Milwaukee is 0 to 3,200 impacts per minute. So this has uh, 200 impacts per minute more than the Milwaukee. So, But this one's a brushless. This one is not. We have a couple of tests lined up where we are going to use, we're pretty much going to use sockets uh, because uh, that's more accurate, and we are going to use a timber lock screw. Uh, we have a four inch lag screws and six inch lag screws that we're going to test this out on. And we have a, comp a couple of uh, Spax lags, a uh, quarter inch by four inch, and I believe uh, five inch. We have a uh, four inch and five inch Spax lags. And we're going to put these, uh, use this adapter. So we're going to put this on and use a half inch uh, Tech Life socket impact rated sockets so as you can see it's uh three quarter three eighths inches now a half inch i didn't even know that that existed so now it only would cost like four dollars husky does make this but uh but yeah i wanted to use the impact rated uh tech life socket set so we're gonna use that and we're gonna get this uh on the way i do not have a big enough socket for a small enough socket for these so we're gonna use husky all right, so we're gonna do a five inch. You know what? We're just gonna do. We're just gonna do uh, two five inches and two four inches each. I thought I'd grab more of these, but I guess I didn't. All right, so three, two, one, go. Done. Do another five, three, two, one, go. Time on that. Right, let's take those out. All right, so three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. See it? And like I, and like I said in the unboxing of this, uh, the three eighths does not have a ball, so it, the socket comes out pretty easily. Does the Mil Neither does the Milwaukee. Milwaukee does not have a ball either. Yeah, so the even with the Milwaukee, it comes out pretty easily. Which, I'm pretty sure if they put a drill a hole and put a ball in there, it would ruin the integrity of the actual anvil. So that's why they probably can't have it. I don't like this uh, this system. The, the, the push system to choose, I'd rather have... I'd rather have this. Just like that. Done. Instead of like, tap, 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 tap. That's just me though. All right, so three, two, one, go. Time. Do one more. Three. Oop. Three, two, one, go. That's it. And remember, this is the 9 amp hour battery. 9 amp hour battery. Let's take them out. 3, 2, 1, go. Not too shabby. 3, 2, 1, go. And that is done. We are done with the 4x4. Next, it is time to do 
the log test. Are these the same size? No, they are not. We need a size smaller. Right here is good. We're going to do the Milwaukee first. Am I recording? Yep. Yep. Nine amp hour battery. Full charge. Speed three. All right, so here we go. And a little bit more this way. Three, two, one, go. Very good. Do another one. Three, two, one, go. We'll do one more. Three, two, one, go. And that is that. Let's go to the Ryobi. We're gonna do three of these as well. All right, so three, two, one, go. Done. All right, so three, two, one, go. And the last one, three, two, one, go. Done. Let's see who can take these out faster. We're gonna do one continuous video for three of them. I'm gonna try my best to get rid of the screw I just took out and go immediately into another one. I'm gonna choose the uh, deepest one first so I don't have issues with that. All right, so three, I'm gonna try my best to get to the next screw as soon as possible. All right, so three, two, one, go. And very good, that is time. All right, let's do the, the Ryobi. Take all three out at once. All right, so three, two, one, go. Darn it. I messed up. I messed up. All right, I'm gonna try to, uh, I'm gonna re put, I'm gonna put that in and I'm gonna take out that mess up and just add that to it. So I hope I could do that accurately. All right, so that concludes the test for the timber locks. Next test is the six inch and the four inch lag screws. For this test, we are gonna use the Tech Life uh, impact rated socket set. So these are one inch. As you can see, that goes on very well. Then it goes on to the three eighths. There, wait. Come on, line up. There we go. Now it's a half inch socket. All right, so three, two, one, go. That's it. Very good. See now this is really locks on there, which is awesome. But like a both on both Milwaukee and Ryobi, this just slips like that. With this though, this doesn't slip. This is actually on there really, really well. See that's on there well. So good. So if you have this, if you have a 3 eighths and you want to use a half inch, 
you could. All right, we're gonna leave that in there. We're gonna do the same test when it comes to taking these out. I'm gonna go to it as fast as possible. All right, so ready to go. Fully charged, speed three. All right, so three, two, one, go. That is done. Fantastic. All right, next it is time for the six inch. We're gonna do this right here, right next to it. That's enough space. Battery's full still. Wait, let's see. Battery full, perfect. All right, so three, two, one, go. Yep, that, I'm just going to consider that there. It's there. Very good. Give the, that a little break. Battery is at 75% now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that will go up in a little bit. Alright, so three, two, one, go. go that is done that is done all right now what we are going to do is we are going to take these out i'm going to take two of them out at once and we're going to see which one does it faster once again i'm going to try my best to go get go straight onto it we're going to do the four inch first then go to the six inch all right so three two is it recording Yep. Three, two, one, go. Very good. Time on that. That concludes the test for the Milwaukee. Now Ryobi needs to finish up. All right, so three, two, one, go. Oh, wait, nope, let's put that in a little bit. Wrong one. All right, four inch first. All right, so three, two, one, go. There we go. That is the test between the uh, Ryobi 3 8 inch impact driver versus the Milwaukee 3 8 impact driver. Now, I do not know what the results are. I find that out during the editing of the video. So, but they, uh, they both seem to pretty much almost perform the same. Now, Temperature wise, they both have been cooling down for the same exact same amount of time. 99 degrees. Now, uh, this one, the uh, Milwaukee's warm as well, but unfortunately, there aren't any ports. 
there aren't any ports the, or vents that lead to the, the motor. Now, when I put this on, it's directly on the motor. Uh, there is no hole that leads directly to the motor. So we're going to judge this one by the body. Now, they both are equally warm. The body of this is, sorry, the Ryobi is 94 degrees. On top, and the uh, Milwaukee is 71. So 93 to 71, which it, it, they're both warm, but obviously the Milwaukee is cooler. And so the Milwaukee ran cooler doing this job. Tons of more videos coming up, and uh, and yeah. So it was, I love doing these tests. These, are, these tests are so fun. That's pretty much it. So this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.